The Talking Cave. Once there was a lion. He wandered in search of an animal to eat. He was tired. The lion could not get any animal to eat. The lion said, "Oh, I have to fast today." Well, there is nothing I can do. <laughs> the lion saw another cave when he was returning to his own cave. The lion thought, "Let me go in to see if I can find any animal in that cave." But there was nobody in the cave. The lion took a deep breath. <sighs> He had thought of an idea. He thought, the sun is going to set. The owner of this cave will definitely come here soon. I will hide myself inside the cave. I will then get an animal to eat without any trouble. That will satisfy my hunger. The lion hid himself. and waited for the animal to whom the cave belonged the owner of the cave was a cunning fox the fox who was clever and cunning came here he heard the sound of breathing and smelled an animal's smell the fox also saw some footprints on the ground the fox said in surprise Ah, the footprints of a lion. Hmm. The fox thought, these footprints lead into the cave, but there are no footprints coming out of the cave. Hmm. This means that the lion is in there waiting for me. Ah, to eat me. Hmm. The fox thought of a plan. It said, "Oh cave, oh cave." Saying this, It kept quiet for a moment. Again it said, "Oh cave, oh cave, why are you not saying anything today? Every day you welcome me saying, 'Welcome friend, how are you?'" The lion thought, "The cave must be welcoming the fox like this every day. Because of my fear, it does not say anything." Let me speak for the cave. The fox again said, "Oh cave, oh cave." The lion responded, "Welcome friend, how are you?" The lion's voice was loud and rough, and the cave echoed with his voice. All the animals of the jungle were frightened to hear the roar. The lion thought that now the fox would enter the cave, but the fox said, "Oh, lion, can a cave ever talk?" <laughs> Goodbye. The lion came out of the cave. He saw the fox running away. He had been made a fool of by the fox.